It's Joey's World. Hey, Joe. What are you doing today? Got to get a haircut. All right. Why don't you turn around slowly? Let's take a look at all of this. Yeah, it's a, it's a little long. And I'm so proud because you're going to go all and get it all on your own, right? That's right. All right. Well, I'll see you in a little bit. That's right. So is this the before? Now this is the after. Oh, this is the after. Wow, what a neat thing. Look at this side. Tell me about haircuts when you were younger. I didn't want to do haircuts when I was younger, but unfortunately grandma told me you got to do it. <laughs> do you remember where we used to go? Down at the barber shop. You used to go to the barber shop, yes. And you did not like haircuts at all, huh? Right. How come? didn't run it to, but now I understand I needed to look good. Now you get it. Now is it just that it was uncomfortable for you to go? Yeah, back in the day. You know, you're not alone. A lot of kids who have autism or sensory processing don't like their hair getting cut. That's right. And I remember, this is a long, long time ago, back in the 70s, <laughs> we used to have to take you in after the store had closed because it would take three guys to hold you down for a haircut. Wow. Do you remember that? I don't remember it. No? But I do remember what also helped you. What? They used to have sports magazines there. Do you remember that? I remember it. We didn't have them at home, right? That's right. And you really loved the sports magazines. Oh, yes. So you're looking pretty sharp there, dude. That's right. I remember this is my audition. Yours may differ. Hey. Hey, I didn't get a haircut I need. Joey, that is not your hair. Oh my God, what are you doing, silly? What am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. Bullseye. That's, bullseye, that's better, thank you.